Designers Café. Hi, I'm Christina Bell and I'm on a budget and I'm so excited to share with you something that I learned how to make. I've made a mistake of falling in love with a pendant lamp. It's like a designer pendant lamp and if you search it online under shopping, um, I think you can find it under string pendant lamp or a yarn pendant lamp and they're so expensive. So I decided I was going to look into making one on my own and this is how you do it. All right, what you do is you take yarn. I was going to do white but I decided on black because I think it has more of a contemporary feel to it and I like that. So you take your yarn and you put it in a bowl. Then you take something called fabric stiffener and you just make sure you soak that yarn with the fabric stiffener. You might need one and a half bottles for a big thing of yarn like this. So, of course you have to open it first. And I didn't. <laughs> okay, well, edit that out. All right, you pour it all over the yarn in the bowl. And you want to soak it completely. Knead it into the yarn. Make sure it's totally saturated. It's very messy, so make sure you cover your table. And I think I just got some on it. I always make a mess. It's in my hair. That's how messy it is. Once it's soaking, and I don't think that's enough, like I said, I think it's going to take a bottle and a half. This thing about this, it doesn't smell too bad. All right. All right, my yarn is soaked. Now something that you need to, to make this pendant lamp is a ball. Now where I live, around this time of the year, it's almost impossible to find a ball. All you need is a blow-up beach ball, um, the kind of balls that you buy in a toy store, you know, for your kids, and it depends on the size you want, that's what you need. So what I did, and I actually think this is going to work out very well, <laughs> alright, let me try that again. Okay, what I did is, um, okay, now I'm sorry, I'm freezing here. All right. What I chose to use is one of those exercise balls, a smaller version. This is something that, this is the size that I was looking for. Of course, you look for your size. Um, the reason why I like this is it has a foot pump, and there's a little hole here, and you blow it up with the foot pump, and then when you want to deflate it, you just pull that out and deflate it with the pump. That was ridiculous. Okay. Um, <laughs> Now what you want to do to start is you want to take this yarn, the first one, very carefully unroll it, you don't want it to get tangled, and you tightly wrap it around once. Because what you're going to want to do is tie it at the top here. But you're going to want to leave a little extra so that you can hang it and dry it that way. Just make a little knot. Oh, there goes Bella. She wants to come in, but she's going to get covered in this stuff. All right. Here we go. Now, what you do is you just randomly spin it all the way around the ball. Random patterns. And continue doing that Ooh, until your yarn is gone. Okay, I'm done wrapping the ball in the yarn, and what you do at the end is you just stick it through, and you tie a little knot anywhere, just like you did before when you started.